Welcome to Turn Writing Fear Around Podcast. Simple methods to overcome fear and start writing again. I'm Elise Hittinger, and I'm the host for your journey to courage. This is episode 15, Learn to Let Go. So when I was young, I was riding in a van, and we stopped at a stop sign. We were towing a boat, and... I was in the back of the van, so I couldn't see real well. But a motorcycle gang came around a corner going really fast. And even though we were stopped, they hit us head on. And they hit us head on so hard that the boat came through the back doors of the van. It was terrifying. It was terrifying to see just the aftermath of it. And for a long time, I was afraid of motorcycles. If a motorcycle passed us, I was afraid. And it really, it it took time. And I wish I had known then what I know now. And it helps with the horses. So if you've got something that triggers you with your horses... Uh, you know, let's just say your horse bolted or your horse reared. The things that lead up to that, even though the horse isn't going to do that this time, can still trigger us. Just like just like when I'd hear a motorcycle, it would trigger me. I'd think, oh, am I going to be in an accident again? And so out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of times that I was near a motorcycle, only once did it have an issue. So there's some things you can do to play with this. And I call it the red car, blue car. So if you're driving along and a red car swerves into your lane, you're not going to be terrified of red cars. Now, if it hits you, you may be afraid of accidents. But but if it just swerves into your lane, no issues, you're not going to be afraid of red cars. And with a blue car, now a blue car swerves into our lane and it does hit us. And so with the blue car, it might take a little bit of work to get over that more so than the red car. The red car didn't cause any damage. It just swerved. And so we can practice these things. So start with the red car. And as you're passing red cars, just think, ah, wow, I can relax. Wow, man, what a beautiful red car. And even though it didn't do anything, you'll still feel better with the red cars. And then you can start doing the same thing with the blue cars. (gasps) Wow, look at that beautiful blue car. Wow, I feel so good with that blue car. So even though that blue car swerved in your lane and hit you, You can still overcome it and feel better with blue cars. And you just have to learn to let go of what happened in the past. And then we can do the same thing with our horses. So for me, it was a horse raising its head. A horse raised its head, I get off. Well, thousands and thousands and thousands of times, a horse raised its head and it was not going to rear once it reared. So it became a game with me. Wow. Look at your magnificent neck. Look at how nice your head is up. Wow. What are you looking at? Whatever it is, I could play with it. And the more I got comfortable, the further that memory faded away. I learned to let it go. And you can practice this with anything. You can practice letting stuff go. So I encourage you to just find little things that you may go, ooh, or things that you're a little bit of afraid of and just practice seeing the beauty in them. Practice feeling how good it feels that they're not doing whatever it was that you were afraid of. And you can learn to let it go. If you've enjoyed this, I encourage you to get my Ultimate Guide to Courage Pennies ebook. 
it talks a lot about the little things every day we can do to improve our courage. And when we have a lot of courage, there's no room for fear. See you guys later.